Well, good afternoon, everybody. I'm showing you blue sky. <laughs> Why am I showing you blue sky? Because they were talking about rain this afternoon. <laughs> uh, yeah, they were incredible that they were actually talking the possibility of rain here this afternoon. That's how... Uh, that's kind of how it goes here. It's uh, 5 p.m. in the afternoon. I actually uh, after 5 here. So we've only got oh another hour of sunshine or so. And I'm just going to run down and kind of take a look at, at what we did today. We uh, definitely got... Uh, Plenty of stuff in our compost rows, as you can see here. Plus, uh, with everything we've been doing lately, uh, a whole lot of bags of uh, leaves here. And a lot of these leaves went down into my rows, like I mentioned in the first video today. But, uh, yeah, the shadows are... Now coming across the yard here, wow, look at this. That, my friends, is a mango. And as you can see here, there's another one. Very few, oh, wow, look at this. Another mango right there, hanging. Yeah, so there's gonna be a few here. This is the only tree so far, that's uh, got some production to it, and like I said, boy, it would sure be nice to uh, to rain here. But uh, now, oh, they're not even talking about a chance for the next seven to ten days. Oh yeah, I see Little followed me down here. She's been mostly in the house lately with her four puppies and that, so uh, taking care. Out of four that are left, and of course, uh, Doro cut a big swath in the rice hay here today. And I mean, how big? Well, <laughs> look at all the bags here uh, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty one, twenty four. Oh, 27, 33, 30, almost 40 bags, pretty close to 40 bags here. Cut out of here, and it's amazing. I have all the seven years I've been doing this, I want to show you something here. Down towards the bottom here, how dry this is, right at the bottom. The bottom maybe, oh, eight inches or so. A little bit of moisture left. Uh, try to see if I can pull some of that out. Yeah, a little bit of moisture left here. You know, towards the bottom. And you can see a little bit of mold on there, the white in that. So it, it's breaking down a little bit. But to be that far down when the pile here is a good three to four foot high and where the dry is that far down usually you go down about a foot and everything down below that is moist and the stuff on the bottom is just wet <laughs> and that so and i see little is going across into the neighbors over there most of that's been cleared over there. At one point we heard it was for sale, but uh, not lately. Come on, little. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, she turns around and looks at me here. Come on. You don't need to go up there. Come on, little. So, just kind of show you in the shadows here. As the sun's going down here. Like I said, maybe another hour. And of course, 
look at here at the at the piglets here. Yeah. And of course the few out here. And even them. Wow. Ah, they're starting to look so healthy. Nothing like mom's milk. Just absolutely amazing. And that mom's milk. And walk around the other side. Ah, this is a good picture of the big boar we got here. <laughs> yeah. She's she's enjoying some of the old rice hay and the stuff down towards the bottom, you know, they got stuff in their system that the mold don't bother them too much. So, uh kind of take a walk over here on the other side. Yeah, look at this. All, all eight of them there? They should be. Well, I see three, six on top. There's seven. There's one on the bottom. There's two on the bottom. So, all eight of them here, and they're so big. And uh, it'll be 11 days now till they're 30 days old. So, after uh, less than three weeks here, they're huge. They're, they're really big. And of course, feeding like crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Kind of bring you a little bit of the late afternoon here. I got to admit, ah, see, here comes Little walking back over here. I got to admit, I took a nap this afternoon. Sometimes when it's so hot, because, wow, it was so hot this afternoon. And of course the guys too, Andor and Doro went to pick up water and filled up all these five gallon containers, uh, filled up the barrel right there too. And that and that's a part of almost almost our every day, every other day. We gotta go get water now. And of course we've been doing that for uh, what a couple weeks here already. So yeah, a little little's coming back up here. Yeah, so we're going to wander up back by the house here. And uh, as the sun kind of goes down. Yeah, nice. In the early morning and late afternoon like this. Uh, for an hour or so. Uh, when the heat's kind of dissipating and you get generally a little bit of a, a breeze. As you can see the trees kind of moving up there. A little bit of the breeze but uh, yeah wow not a cloud in the sky so uh, and little's doing just fine here yeah oh look at her look yeah she's my favorite yeah she's my favorite oh yeah scratchy butt again come on <laughs> oh sure yeah she's she's Papa's favorite and she knows it well she stays, whoops, okay, come on. She stays in the house with us, and everybody kind of knows that. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. Uh, see what tomorrow brings. It's going to be another day of heat and sunshine, I'm sure. And just doing all the odd jobs of farming, just uh, keeping everything running. Like I said, the daily chores that... Uh, when you got animals, uh, when you got a piece of property here, like I said, I got about a hectare and a half here. Uh, there's always something to do, whether it's cleaning up, preparing for the next rainy season that we've been doing all along here. Oh, just raking leaves, cutting our rice hay, uh, <laughs> trimming. As you can see, all the pieces here from, uh, yeah, yeah, from the coconut trees, all the stems of uh, the long uh, leaves and branches, I should say, that we put up there. Uh, always something to do and to kind of keep up, but nothing that pressing. So to take some time off and visit and have visitors. Yeah, John and Cheryl came over. Uh, last evening and we had a good supper with them good to see them uh, a really really fine couple 
and they're going to be our neighbors here so we uh, really enjoy the prospect of always having some new neighbors here so I better say goodbye here I'm getting a little long-winded behind the camera here so I'll say goodbye for now uh, we'll be back tomorrow and until that time I sincerely hope that God blesses every single one of you